on beat is a fairly cheap back again from another deck review. Today we're looking at this deck, it is the Scorpion, which is by a YouTube just named Zach. I don't know more about him, unfortunately. I didn't even, wasn't even able to find his channel, but it says Z-A. Zach, I guess the last name is A. I guess he has a mustache, because that looks like a mustache. <laughs> and you see, or maybe, it, I'm, I'm not even sure if it's a mustache. It kind of looks like it. But you see the Scorpion. Nice foiled tough base on a matte stock. It says Zach on the sides. At the top, a little Scorpion. It is put by Hanson Chen and designed by Sala Studio. Cool. And there's the back, which is basically the back design of the cards. And some artwork there. It's a nice tough base. As you can see, a black stock matte. Matte black stock with embossing and foil. Actually, not really embossing, just foil. And in it, you got a ad card for Zach in English and I guess Japanese. Welcome to his world. And there's some more information on the other side. And the uh, Jokers, they just say Zach and it's a scorpion. And I mean, you look closely, you can see the details from a distance, though. It doesn't, you don't really see those details, unfortunately. Could have been better. The back design is nice enough. Just a simple back design of scorpions and some other little details. It's fine for what it is. Pretty straightforward. The Ace of Spades is a heart for some reason, an actual heart. It's a creepy hand grabbing it and a heart. Two of hearts to reveal. Uh, kind of weird that the Ace of Spades is a heart. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Everything else is completely standard, unfortunately. I guess it makes sense. It's made by a magician, four magicians. Uh, but that is a deck. Put it by Hanson Chen on a vintage stock and a luxury finish. So it handles fine. And it handles fine. It's fine for what it is. If you like it, awesome. To me, uh, it's one of the purchases, one of the only purchases I made recently that I kind of regret. It just feels kind of generic. It's the type of deck that, that feels like it's a a personal deck that a magician makes for themselves for their own use. That's uh, you know, it's it's fine. The back design is fine. The tough face is really nice. The jokers, eh. The ace of spades, eh. That's just the way I feel about it. The rest is just standard. No complaints there, really. It just it doesn't really grab me. It's not that exciting. I'm gonna have to give this one like a C. It's fine for what it is. If you like it, fantastic. If not, there's other decks out there that I would recommend over this one. So that is that. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.